What's going on, Reject Nation? I'm Greg Alba. I'm John Humphrey. We are going to watch today a patron video request from Jason Dolan. It's called Miles Fisher. This must be the place. Interesting. I heard this is like an American Psycho music video or something. Jason Dolan is a hardworking screenwriter, a talent, and a guy who's actually just a really good friend of mine. You know, I really love this guy a lot. Caring fellow. He occasionally talk a couple times a week. He got this camera for us, man. He's just one of the best dudes in the world. I love the shit out of him. Jason, if you're watching, I rub your head while I'm doing stuff to your pepe. Anyway, let's do this. Nice. Is where I want to be. Does but look like I guess him. I'm already there. I cool. come home. Oh, oh, oh. Cool. She lifted up her wings. I guess that this must be the place. Those are finger push-ups. <laughs> this dude does look so much like him. <laughs> it's kind of eerie. Oh, he's got the cold glaze. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I would do that with Max. I think I have that knife. Well, yeah, I just learned the name of that, too. It's like if Christian Bale had a baby with Tom Cruise. <laughs> Facial expressions are just so undeniably similar. Yeah. It's crazy. Do you like Miles Fisher? <laughs> His latest EP marks a new peak <laughs> professionalism. This is his take on David Burns' This Must Be The Place. A great, great song. And a personal favorite. David Byrne, man. Is where I want to be, but I guess I'm all The other girl looks nothing like that. Casting. What are you doing? Eat her out. <laughs> Once you clean your vagina. <laughs> Forget the exact way he said that. <laughs> Could have bulked up a little bit for the role. Whoa! Wow, this Commitment. is YouTube friendly. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Yellow Dollar? show too much blood on the internet.
nice. That's some impressive ass shit right there. Not Damn. bad, man. It's it's. I haven't heard the David Byrne song in so long. I, I don't have a good frame of reference for. It. Miles Fisher is that? Wow, yeah, that's him. just him. No makeup, prosthetic CGI. I've never seen Miles Fisher before, and he does look so much like Christian Bale. That is crazy. Yeah. I mean, it's like, of course, he does the mannerisms to help out. Like, oh, he's got that <laughs> smile, yeah. And yeah, just even like the way he uses his eyebrows, the mm-hmm. eyes, everything he does. It's pretty uncanny stuff. And uh, in terms of like a tribute music video and also semi spoof, that's some really impressive stuff right there. That must have been the best thing ever to help recreate and add on to. And I'm glad you got to do your sex scene. That was the one spot you were like, no, we really got to go all out here. <laughs> hey, well, I, I appreciate you, too, for being a bit progressive and showing more sex than you chose to show violence. You yeah. Know, like, fixing the problem little by little. In America, we're better with the blood than we are with the nudity, though. We you get uncomfortable. That. If you're going to do an American psycho thing, you should have committed to the blood. <laughs> Less on the sexual aspect of it, too. We don't do that here, except we do, and it's all the time. (laughs) It's always in your face. I mean, there's a weird charm to this, because it's obviously nowhere near the budget quality of the actual film. But at the same time, you're like, this looks like they... They put a lot of work in this. <laughs> yeah. Good recreation yeah. with the resources that you had on hand. Man. I love how he's the only one that looks like Christian Bale, but everyone else doesn't look at all like the people they're portrayed. There's a blonde girl, <laughs> then, yeah. then there's brunette chick, and then there's a guy who looks nothing like Jared Leto in here. <laughs> my heart, my heart. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't him? He didn't show up to, to feature in no, this music? No, he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that would have been cool, though. Get a little 30 seconds to Mars yeah. crossover for your next EP. Maybe do American Psycho 2, the beloved classic starring Mila Kunis and uh, Shatner. Yeah, it was a great one. It was a great one, yeah. It makes me wonder why this movie had such an impact. It wasn't like a huge box office hit, but it's made such a crazy impact over time. And mm-hmm. like to go all out and do a music video like this is just like... What exactly is? <laughs> what inspired you? What, what, you just love the movie pe- that people much. love American Psycho this much, and I really love the movie too. It's a great movie. I'm just a happy camper. But it is one of those things where if Christian Bale's not in it. I don't think it's that good of a movie. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, and that's probably a key element of that, of why that movie is so beloved. And we see this with so many films that get redredged over the time, is if you don't have the people who made it what it was, a lot of times you don't have that thing. And Christian Bale is so much of what makes that movie what it is, you know? Yeah. Especially since they changed things from the book, oh, yeah, you know, yeah. too. It's like, it's a different take, and he really brings it to life. That's true. I mean, I guess the next thing this guy has to do is a Mission Impossible theme song, music video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 just brace do. your cruise side. <laughs> brace the cruise side because you do look a lot like Tom Cruise as well, so you do a little hybrid. And then you can do a Superman music video because you kind of got the Chris Reeve, Brandon Ralph thing going. Do like a Superman thing next because, you know, DC's doing well. You could even catapult yourself into Henry Cavill's place when they eventually mm. do a second Superman movie because yeah. they're firing him but they're not firing him. He also looks like Freddie Highmore a little bit. You know what? Psycho. He's he's a white guy. He's a white <laughs> yeah. guy. All y'all look alike. <laughs> yeah. If you got the dark skin, the piercing eyebrows, <laughs> you know how you are. You're that one. Not the dark skin, the olive skin. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you're a black white guy. Uh, yeah. I mean, but from a quick research, it looks like this guy is also a working actor. It would appear. I mean, he certainly looked profesh on camera. Yeah, because I was going to say for, like, a musician, like, some pretty impressive, like, impersonation skills he's got down. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) That's the key to his music, actually, is every song has a character. Wait a minute. I think he has a video on here where he's He's doing doing a Tom Cruise impression. Hey. Stop. I can eat planets. I'm, uh, I'm okay. Oh, yes. uh, this guy does yes. embrace the people he looks like. That's gay. That's making lemons out of lemonade. You know, flip that. <laughs> I guess I gotta start doing something where I look like the Indian guy from Inception. Yeah, and, and Cliff Curtis. <laughs> yeah, and then I'll probably have a career. and I'll be known for looking like those ethnically ambiguous guys, mm-hmm. except one definitely looks Indian. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's a Final Destination 5. I'm, okay, Miles Fisher's gonna be my new obsession. 
That's what's happening right now. You're my new obsession. Go down the rabbit hole. Yeah. (laughs) You should make a Final Destination music video, too. It's Halloween time, man. You got to get on this shit. (laughs) All right. Well, hey, Miles Fisher, I'm glad to finally know who you are, buddy. You are Tom Cruise and Christian Bale impersonator. Yeah. (laughs) Honestly, it's Tom Cruise. It's like, it was one thing to just see him. I mean, like, I think if you're a white guy, it's probably pretty easy to do the American psycho voice. Did did you know I'm utterly insane? Oh, yeah. All you got to do is do everyone's impression of a white guy. (laughs) (laughs) It's literally how Patrick Bateman talks. (laughs) So it was one thing, like, seeing how he looks like him, and it's probably easier for him to mirror the body language and the facial expressions, but then to hear him do that, that, that funny bit about, you know, Miles Fisher. Yeah. I mean, that, that was a really <laughs> funny... Really professional EP. <laughs> yeah, like, that moment made me go, this guy's obviously a multi-talent. Is that, did he, is that his version of that song or something? That's my understanding of it, yeah, is he did a new take on This Must Be The Place. That's awesome. Yeah. All right, well, hey, guys, you should subscribe to Miles Fisher's YouTube channel, because that's clearly where his main focus is at. Mm-hmm. And uh, you could <laughs> just oh, like obsessed with this whole time I've been recording, just looking at shit of Miles Fisher. There's a Saved by the Bell spoof. No, there's hella spoofs on here. Oh man! All right, well, subscribe to the Reject Nation, <laughs> click that notification bell, and uh, check us out on Patreon. We got TV show reactions, and John does music video coverage over there, as well as weekly Q and A's from the two of us. See you soon.